Okay, so Kemi was changed a lot, but I feel like overall she was actually nerfed, and I don't think they really intended for it to actually happen. So, one of the small changes in the reasonably long list of all of her changes was that they made her, the second part of her attack string, come out a little bit faster. So she's, she does that kick a little bit faster than she would have beforehand. They also made the first hit of it like a little bit more safe. She recovers a bit faster, removed some of the recovery frames, so that's good, you know. Makes it a little less punishable like on whiff, which it was quite punishable before, so that's always good. But, um, look at this. That doesn't work. Her string into Quark 2 does not work. Which may not sound like a big deal, but this is Kami we're talking about, whose only real strength is her combos. And when your combos are... Every hit in your combo is changed from having a 3,435 damage starter into Quark 2 into 1,400. So now, all of the combos, you just have to do this. And, like, it just... Like, what? It just makes her combos kind of weird and shorter, and, like, she has to cancel things at weird times now. And, yeah, not sure how I feel about it. But anyways, um... Yeah, so I talked about the target combo, it made it a little bit safer, a little bit faster, but it also is kind of crappy because she can't really combo off of it now. Um, she made- so her, her ground counterattacks have a lot more distance than they did before, and they also have better tracking. So as you can see, even when I accidentally walked past him, they actually have pretty good tracking. So that's really good because they- I believe before they had like zero, like she just went straight ahead, so now she actually chases the opponent down a little bit. So that's really good that she has this new, like, engagement tool. So that's a pretty decent buff for her. Because she didn't, she didn't really used to have anything to, like, to break the neutral and really get in on the opponent consistently. Except for her, like, air quirk too, which kind of, like, tracks the opponent down. So it's good that she has this on the ground. Good, good to throw out and, like, chase the opponent down. Obviously, like, if the opponent's not running around like a madman like Bakugo right now, it will be, be a little bit better. Um... There was a bunch of changes to her Quirk 1, like, in a weird way, like, I don't know what they're trying to accomplish, like, they just changed it in a bunch of ways, but I can't tell what they're actually trying to buff here. So, they shortened the recovery frame, so she covers a lot faster. So, like, as you can see, she can block, like, basically as soon as she stops blowing it. Um, but the recovery frames are still there on here, so you can see she still has a little bit of, um, wait time there, but if she doesn't on this, she gets to block a bit faster. Um, they increased the back gap when it hits, oh yeah. Extended the stepping distance before the ground. What the hell? Yeah, so they made it so it's more consistent for the second part to hit after the first. Which I don't feel like was a problem, but I mean, I guess that's good. Um, fixed an issue about it. But um, I don't know if this was changed in previous patches or something, because it's not listed here. But she can't dash cancel the last hit of her Quirk 1, which I find kind of weird. Like, she can dash cancel, like, the beginning hits. But, like, when she does that final kick... She can't dash cancel. I'm like, why? Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Um, th there was also a slight buff to now she can do like a few more uh, tilt quirk ones in her combo. Um, she used to before like barely be able to get like two, like depending on the hits, you wouldn't really be able to get two. But now she can get two consistently and sometimes depending on the scenario you can get three. Oops. Oops, oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, basically they just like lowered the amount that like the two quirk one like Um takes the opponent towards meaty bro. So a slight change there, not really that much. And extended the duration of the abnormal cooldown. I honestly don't know what that's referring to, but it did have a damage buff. I haven't actually looked at how much it was increased by. God, parries are so bad in this game. I mean, it still doesn't really do that much for a parry. Like, what? Parries are not that good in this game, and... Uh, oh! Like, I can't even dash cancel it. Like, wow, 4,000 damage. Ooh. <laughs> but anyways, um... Oh yeah, so I guess they extended the duration of the, like, the purple mist. 
Um, but yeah, she's still she's still a pretty decent character. She can still get good damage. Oh wait, I need to remember. I can't actually do that. <laughs> so I just needed two hits into this. She can still get damage if she uses supports, but I'm still very salty that she can't really get damage normally anymore. Oh wait, yep, that doesn't work either. See, she's still gonna get like 10,000 damage if you use a support, but it's just kind of weird that they would nerf that, or I guess it was unintentional. But like, the fact that like if you're not using support, she's getting like zero damage. Like, that extension is kind of hard, but yeah. I don't know. Don't really agree with um, the nerfs, but you know, she was changed slightly. I'm glad that she has this, you know, slightly better tracking on this. And, you know, slight changes to that, whatever. But yeah, she's a very similar character. At least she didn't get crazily nerfed. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.